football in August. See 65,000 red-hot fans in Chicago Soldiers Field. They're in for a hot time, too, as the college all-stars move up to the Green Bay Packers' three-yard line. The Packers, last year's pro football champs, can't hold the all-stars as Earl Gross goes over for the first touchdown. It's a preview of the thrills to come this fall. Then the Packers start packing the ball. Bart Starr blazes the ball to Boyd Dollar for handy yardage inside the 20. The same combination, Starr and Dollar, this time for a Packer touchdown. Again, it's Starr and Dowler putting on their brother act and bringing the ball to the Collegian's two-yard line. That sets it up for Starr to pass to Kramer for a touchdown that puts the pros ahead. This is how it all stands at halftime. The all-star shine as the second half opens. John Hadel gets it away to Charlie Bryant, who takes a 22-yard jaunt for a score that puts them in front again. As Bryant goes over the All-Stars lead for the third time. Then the roof falls in on the Collegians. Star stars again as he throws 35 yards to Max McGee. That starts the slaughter at Soldier's Field. In the last 10 minutes, the pros make three fast touchdowns with power plays, like Elijah Pitts and Run. The pros make this 29th annual contest a memorable one, and the Green Bay Packers look like the team to watch. Pitt wraps it up, making the score 42 to 20. 